there's a couple different ways you can use cutting edge laser to repair and correct entropion. This eye needs to have some tissue cut. There are two ways. I do it the freehand method, where I actually make a, a small smile, if you will, of tissue and remove it. You can also use the crunch technique, as many do, to help mark your landmarks. We're going to go ahead and do the freehand. We'll do lateral canthus, upper and lower lid. Probably not going to be quite full thickness, and that's okay. And I do a freehand, so I'm just going to take a small smile out. Now I'm going to actually be changing the angle of my laser. Back and forth across this tissue, I'm following the pattern that I started for myself. Anyone who has done this procedure with a scalpel knows that by now you've gone through about four or five sponges. So we'll suture this in place and then we'll do a touch on the upper lid. There's another way you can use the laser, which is just terrific. You can use it to kind of defocus. And what defocus means is the paper clip is your little cheater, your training wheels. It tells you exactly how far away from the tissue to get your optimum beam delivery. Well, defocus means you're pulling back. Now with this procedure, what you see is what you get. As we do it, you will see the tissue contracting and, I, and the lid actually rolling out. And that is as much correction as you will get with this procedure. Again, one of my favorite points with cutting edge is the aiming beam, the diode. Allows me to precisely know where I'm gonna start. Look here, I'm going to go midway, just like we did on the other eye. But now I'm going to pull back. This would be where I was on the other eye. I'm here now. It's set on two. The other eye, where I actually was cutting, I was set at four. I just decreased my power, pulled back, and I'm going to move very slowly. make long X's, you want to start very near your lid margin. If you notice that contraction, these X's will heal and will not leave permanent scarring. So they're, they're left with a series of X's, kind of a starburst pattern at the lateral canthus, but none of it is full thickness and it does, it just takes those edges and, and rolls them out. Two different procedures. Same dog, different problems in the eye. The laser difference, the cutting edge difference is having an instrument that will allow me to correct a, what was a very bloody procedure. The, with a laser, this is unheard of with a scalpel. You just cannot control your cut to be partial thickness through the dermis. And so you can't even do this. Plus the laser is what's contracting the skin, the collagen, and causing this reaction. So this is, impossible with the blade, only with the laser, corrects many mild entropions.